Hey everybody, my name is Bubs, and in this video I partnered with ORS Curls Unleashed line again to show you another cute style. This style was inspired by Notorious KIA. If you're not following her, I really don't know what you're doing. She has great content. I love her thrifted videos, her styling videos, her hair tutorials. So definitely go and head over to her YouTube page and check her out. I'm first starting off on freshly cleansed hair and I wanna add some moisture. So I'm first gonna go in with Curls Unleash Shea Butter and Mango Leave-In Conditioner. I really love how lightweight this leave-in conditioner, but it's packed with moisture and it detangles my hair with ease and also leaves my hair super soft. I always go in with the leave-in conditioner after washing and conditioning my hair because this is going to aid in moisture for a long period of time. After thoroughly distributing this product throughout my hair, I'm going to twist my hair up and put it into four seconds. Now I'm going to part off a side section so I can get that funky design she had on the side of her head. I'm just going to twist it up first and get it out the way. I'm going to come back to that section once I get done doing the rest of my hair. I did half of my hair off camera and now I'm going to do the front section. I'm going to be doing jumbo size sections because I'm going to be doing a braid and curl. So to get that bounciness and definition, I'm going to use their Shea Butter and Honey Curl Defining Cream. Now, she she's thick, okay, she's thick, and I love this product. As soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, this is going to be amazing on my hair. I'm going to apply a decent amount on that jumbo section and then prepare to braid it. So I'm only going to apply this curl defining cream on the area I'm going to braid. This curl defining cream is great at moisturizing, defining and elongating tightly coiled curls and it will definitely leave your hair very soft and defined. I am going in with their gel souffle on the ends. This is going to add hold and definition. I made sure to apply a good amount of this product to my ends. I applied a little more than I usually do just because I really wanted that hold. This gel is going to define, elongate, and strengthen the curls. It's going to add volume, but it's also going to moisturize the strands. So I did have to first smooth my ends with the comb, and then I'm going to add my flexi rod. If you want a full tutorial on how I do my flexi rod sets, I'm gonna leave a detailed video in the cards for you guys. It's very straightforward, but you will get amazing results. So I have a jumbo section. I'm gonna first add that curl defining cream that's gonna soften my hair, but also aid in that fluffy definition. I'm gonna braid about halfway down, and then I'm gonna take their gel souffle to the ends to add definition, shine, and hold. I'm going to detangle my ends if need be and then roll that section right up. I'm just gonna repeat those same steps on the rest of my hair. Once I am done, I have about 11 to 12 sections, and now I'm going to focus on that funky style she did on the side of her head. So to me in the photo, it looks like she just parted off smaller sections, added rubber bands, connected them, and then put jewels over top. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I parted off my first section, and then I'm going to apply their Nourishing Edge Gel. This gel definitely gives a soft hold, but it works best on dry hair. I found that when I apply this on my dry hair, this lasted for days. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this product and apply it to the perimeter of the section. I'm gonna take about three clear rubber bands. I'm going to secure it with the rubber band. I twist it about four to five times just to ensure the section is secure. And after that, I'm going to part off another section and repeat those same steps. I'm adding that edge gel to the perimeter of the section, smoothing it in, and then I'm going to rubber band that section. Once that is done, I'm going to connect the first section to the second section. I just twist it down some just so it can lay flat. And then I'm going to add a rubber band to keep them securely together. And I'm just going to continue to repeat those same steps.
And for the ends, I just did a Bantu knot just to get a little curl definition. It doesn't really matter because I will be pinning that section to the side. I sat under my dryer for about an hour and a half and then I decided to let them set overnight because I was pretty tired. So the next morning, I'm just going to release those flexi rods and I really was loving the shine I was getting. My hair felt really soft and the curls looked very bouncy. I'm just going to unravel each section. And as you can see, I'm getting so much definition. My hair feels amazing. I really want to try that curl defining cream on a twist out. Who wants to see that? Like on a twist out. I feel I would get so much definition because my hair feels amazing. It has that perfect combination of moisture, hydration, softness, and it does have a slight hold. Now it's time to separate the curls. With this part, I do not care about the definition I get in my roots. I really want the definition to last slightly on the ends, but I want my hair to be really, really, really fluffy and messy and just carefree. That's the look I'm going for. So I'm going to separate a lot and fluff a lot. Now I'm going to quickly add bobby pins just so my hair can lay on one side because I really want to show that design on the side. And then I decided that I didn't want my hair to hang in the back so I did grab hair and just pull it up slightly and then I'm going to bobby pin it down to my scalp just to secure it. Definitely pick your hair a ton to get more bounciness and fluffiness and I'm really loving this. I'm loving the height, I'm loving the volume, I'm loving how just carefree the style looks. But I'm also going to add some of the jewels on the side. I got these from my beauty supply store for about $2 so you can check your local beauty supply store for these. And I'm only applying these jewels where the rubber bands are. And there you have it. I'm really loving the look right now, but let's add some makeup, change my clothes, and this is the finished look, guys. I really loved how this look came out. I really enjoyed it. I really got a ton of compliments because I actually like went out <laughs> this day when I did the style. People really enjoyed it, and it was very simple. It did not take long at all. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe because that just lets me know that you really want to be here you really want to see more videos from me and i'll definitely continue to make those thank you so much ors for sponsoring this video i really do greatly appreciate it leave any comments down below and i'll see you in the next one